welcome. Is this your first time by the library? You just moved in. That's awesome. Well, I'm JB. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I can definitely help you get set up. I'm assuming you're looking to get a library card, right? Awesome. Yeah, it's free. Super easy. I just need your ID. Thank you. Name. Do you go by any nicknames? Okay. Um, birthday. Okay. And to your address. Awesome. My best friend lives right around there. Yeah. There is an amazing pizza store, like, two blocks over if you go down the alleyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Don't let it skip you out. It's fantastic. On Fridays, they have half-off pizza. And then there's a movie rental store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still up and running. And you can rent two movies and get the third free. So I'll get like a pizza for myself and three movies. And that's my weekend. Trust me. You should try it. <laughs> okay. So when you first start out, you can rent <laughs> 10 bucks at a time which is fantastic, and they're usually due back. Different books have different priorities, so if a book is in high demand and you manage to bring it back, I think two, two weeks is the shortest duration that you'd have to give a book back in. Um, otherwise, you can keep them up to like one month and you can renew it, I think, three times. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we will, you know, hit you with those library fees, which are not that bad. But yeah, we have an online portal, so with your card, you can actually sign in, and we can, you know, log what books you have out, and you can renew straight from there without coming back in, which is super nifty. What's your email? Thank you. Cool. I'll register that under your name and your card, which... Let me get a card here. This is going to be your library card, which you just shoop, shoop, swipe when you come in. There you go. So, let me, um, let me help you find some books. Or are you just going to browse? Okay, for something specific. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can do that. So let's see. We can find you uh, if you're going away. Weekend trip if you're looking for a uh, biography or autobiography. We have a few of those. Are you into more like um, recent, like pop culture, like a historical figure? I'm going to pull some like more of the modern books that we have in terms of autobiographies. We have some really popular ones. And then we can do dog training books. That's awesome. Well, since you moved. Yeah, dog friendly. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I'll be getting a dog soon as well. I can't wait. Which is perfect because I actually have quite a few books that I will vehemently recommend to any new dog owner. Um, and then, is there anything else you're looking for? Yeah, 
yes, we actually do carry manga. Uh, we carry comic books, we carry uh, magazines, all that good stuff, but you're looking for a specific series? My Hero Academia. Oh, we have that. We have that in stock, indeed. They, um, they actually get checked out quite frequently. A lot of people Half the people will collect the manga and then half of it just want to read it and not bother paying the ten or so dollars that it is. You can check it out here. Yeah, why not? Okay, so let me grab those for you and I will be right back. I got all of the books. Let's start with the My Hero Academia. Now, um, volume three is currently out, so I just grabbed the first two. It should be back in stock soon. Um, have you watched the anime? The manga is pretty close. Yeah, look on the back. Mount Lady. Lady her beautiful shiny hair. This is the first one. You have your protagonist, Yuzuku Midoriya, and All Might. It's a great story. No, I actually, um, I have only read up to about mid season two of the anime in the manga series. If that makes sense. Um, I actually am trying not to spoil it for myself, which is so funny, right? I usually don't, uh, don't prefer anything live action or animated over a book, but oh, it smells nice. Yeah, give it a whiff. It smells like adventure and emotions. So much crying. No, you'll love it. So maybe volume one. And volume two. Bakugo. And these, you know, you read from back to front. Yeah, okay. This is not your first rodeo. I see, I understand. getting a little caught up. Maybe once you bring it back, I'll do a little reread. Okay. Awesome. So that is the two manga. Next for you, I have the autobiographies. So I picked three. Two of them I have read, one of them highly recommended. Um, you strike me as somebody who watches The Office. Well, I have Jenna Fisher and Rain Wilson's autobiographies. Mm -hmm. Dwight, Pam. So, this isn't necessarily an autobiography. It's, it really is a tutorial, guidebook, etc. Um, the Actor's Life, A Survival Guide by Jenna Fisher, forward by Steve Carell. And look at her. Look at her little face. It's, um, it's her story. But she actually gives a lot of amazing advice. Um, so it's a little bit more information packed than regular autobiography. It's not just stories. And even if you know you're not trying to be an actor, they're just it's so interesting to hear her genuine advice and, and tips and tricks and behind the scenes. 
um, chapter five, how things work on a television or film set. Oh, they have a picture of The Office, day one table read. I'm a huge Office fan, so she gives so much insight and, and, you know, funny little stories and behind the scenes stuff from her time on the show. Um, I really enjoy this one. It's awesomely written. And she is just, she's such a cool person. So, would recommend this one. The Bassoon King. I actually have not read on my immediate reading list, but I, I actually just picked up a copy myself. The foreword is by Dwight Schrute himself. And this copy is very special to the library because it was signed. <laughs> so you have to be extra careful with this one, but we got it as a gift to the library, which was really fun. And he has some good pictures in here too. I cannot wait to read this. He seems like a very, very interesting fellow. Um, my friend did read this and she was saying that he just came from the most interesting upbringing. Yeah, I saw him in a play once. Fantastic job. A super talented fellow. This novel might be interesting to you as well. And you'll have to let me know how you like it. And then finally, this is A Beautiful Mind, A Beautiful Life. And this is The Bub's Guide to Being Unstoppable by Lindy Tsang. She's Bub's. Bob's Beauty, Bob's Vlogs on YouTube. One of my absolute favorites. Um, yeah, I started watching her, you know, I saw her get married. She has two kids now. I, it was 2007 and I was watching her teach me how to do braids. And now I watch her vlogs all the time with her kids and her dogs and I don't know. She is a beautiful person, inside and out. Oh my gosh. Um, but her book is so positive and realistic at the same time, which I really enjoyed. So she gives some incredible insights about her life and, you know, just sort of wisdom about going through life and na navigating things and learning things about yourself. And she does this she has the most perfect way of, like, saying that she's not perfect and that's okay. Um, very inspirational, very sweet, very cute, funny and emotional. Um, yeah, it's totally fine if you aren't familiar with her work. Um, she's fairly big on YouTube, but, um, yeah, that's okay. I think you could still really enjoy this and... Maybe, maybe reading her book will, will lead you to watch her vlogs. Just the best, like, slice of life, you know. Lindy Tsang is a blogger and YouTube personality with more than 400 million views. She and her husband, Tim, have two children, Isaac and Ayla. those options for the autobiographies slash I don't know, books written by some beautiful personalities. And then finally let me go over the dog books for you. So I pulled three. They're all very different and I would recommend all of them. I read all three and uh I think two stand out to me more. I'll start with the one 
that I read first. Um, we don't have the beauty cover for it, but it is The Art of Raising a Puppy by the Monks of New Skeet. So these monks raise German Shepherd puppies, and they have for years. So they wrote this book series, really. They have multiple books that um, give some amazing insights on raising a puppy. Now, I actually read this one twice, and it goes from the very, very, very beginning, like day one of the puppy's life, explaining why dogs are the way they are, um, how to choose your puppy, um, you know, raising it, training it, um, playing with it, uh, forming relationships. And I find with the dog books that I have to read them a couple times to really cement the idea into my head. This was a really good one. It gives you a lot of good insight. The next one is the one I think you need. You need this. This is Before and After Getting Your Puppy by Dr. Ian Dunbar. This man is a genius. So he uses positive training, preventative training, and it's honestly just so logical. And he has the best way of, uh, of phrasing things. Like, he was talking about potty training a puppy, and this is something, you know, you want to have errorless house training. Doesn't that sound nice? And so he he lays it out for you. How to have your puppy never have an accident in the house. Never chew on something he's not supposed to. It's all in here. Um, but he'll like answer questions, like frequently ask questions like I leave my dog outside. Like can it be potty trained outside just by, you know, if it's, out, if it's outside, I, there you go. It can go wherever it wants. And he's like, who's going to, uh, who's going to train your, your puppy? A shrub? And that made me laugh. A shrub. Training a puppy. How ridiculous. I actually think I found the page, didn't I? Why not just put the puppy outside? Can't she do it on her own? Of course she can. But the whole point of predicting when your puppy wants to relieve herself is so you can show her where and offer well-deserved praise and reward. He actually... Um, goes on to say, Why not just leave the puppy outdoors until it is house-trained? Who is going to house-train your pup outside? A shrub? If the puppy is left outside, she will become an indiscriminate eliminator. He's really smart. And the good thing about this book is that he'll repeat the important phrases. So if something's important, you'll read it like 10 times in this book, which really helps like drive it home. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make you take this. You gotta read it. You gotta read it. Last book. A very interesting book. This is like eye-opening. It's called The Culture Clash by um, Jean Donaldson. And I actually found it through Dr. Ian Dunbar's book. He has uh, recommendations in the back, and this was one of them. So I'm about halfway through this one, and incredible. The most thought-provoking book ever written on dog behavior and training, and I agree. It essentially dispels a lot of things that we think we know about dogs, and gives a very logical, very 
interesting look on how to interact with a different species. Um, because we definitely humanize our dogs too much and personify them, you know, which is confusing for them and, you know, will only lead to us being disappointed in them, you know. So, this one's a, a really fun one to follow up with after you've read Dr. Dunbar's book, so. I'll give you that. That's the two do, do, do. manga and the autobiography. Let me grab a bag for you. Oh yeah, we collect um, it's reusable bags. This one is from PetSmart. How? in there with you. And yeah, just take them for a spin. Bring them back. Um, in a couple weeks, I'll give you your deadlines and enjoy them. Absolutely. from today. Yep. And we will use your online portal in order to do any renewals or you can actually rate the books there, which is pretty fun. Awesome. All right. And may I see your library card? Thank you. Fantastic. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your books, and uh, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs>